Hi everyone, today we'll be taking a look at Endeavor OS. We'll start by downloading Endeavor OS. We'll set up a virtual machine. We'll configure the machine settings. We'll proceed with the installation of Endeavor OS in the virtual machine. And lastly, we will install the guest editions. So let's get started. We'll start by heading over to the Endeavor OS website. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like these kind of videos. Let's go to the Endeavor OS website. This is a nice looking website, very minimalistic in design. And they have a quite a few flavors of Endeavor OS. So let's go to the download section. They have quite a few servers to choose from. I will choose GitHub. Hit the download button. We'll let it install. While that is installing, let's get back to the website and look around on what's new. We have an April release available. Now this will be a nice idea for a wallpaper. They added two new mirrors. Okay, here's some technical stuff. Enabled auto login, which is quite important in some cases. Okay, our download should be almost done. And we're almost there. This is a real-time installation of the Endeavor OS, but you can feel free to skip ahead. The purpose of the video is to give an idea of how long it takes to install uh, Endeavor OS. I have an NVMe on a i7 10th generation processor. This is a Linux 64-bit machine. You can save it to a custom location like I have. We will increase the RAM size to about four gigs. You can increase more. For the installation purposes, we'll keep it at the default eight gigs. Now let's configure the settings of the virtual machine. We will increase the number of processors from one to two, and we'll increase the video memory size to 128 megabytes. Now let's head to the storage section here we will mount the ISO which we just downloaded for it to install Endeavor OS in the virtual machine. And one more setting. Let's go back to the general tab and enable uh, shared clipboard and drag and drop. I've noticed drag and drop works well in Windows uh, virtual machines. Linux sometimes is a hit or miss. Now let's go ahead and start our virtual machine and begin this installation process. We'll hit enter over here. Now we're on the desktop. It should bring up a pop-up for giving us the installation options. And before we begin that, let's change our display resolution real quick. This is too small to work with. Uh, 
Oh, this is a little bit too big. I meant to choose the 960. Let's go back and quickly choose the right version. There we go. It looks much better. Oh, it reverts back. Well, this is annoying. I think this is something that they can work on in a future update. Okay, this looks much better. Let's start the installer. We'll do an offline installation uh, for this purpose and then we can do an upgrade later on. And let's select erase disk. You can also partition manually if you're trying to dual boot. Let's enter our name, set up a username and a password. As you can see, there's also a login automatically option. This option comes handy if you're trying to have a remote access on a virtual machine with auto login. Now this is a real time installation, so feel free to skip ahead. I'm including the whole installation process just for educational purposes and to give you a rough estimate of how long it will take to install this OS. What I've noticed is uh, this Endeavor OS does take a little bit longer than other operating systems like Ubuntu and MX Linux. So we will let this run and go grab a copy.
All right, so we're almost at the end of the installation process at 92%. We should be finishing up uh, fairly soon. All right, this is all done. We're going to hit restart now and then click on done. The installation took about 15 minutes to install. Once the virtual machine reboots, our next step would be to install virtual machine guest editions so that we can have shared clipboard as well as we can auto resize the desktop of the guest machine in relative to the host window. All right, we're almost at the desktop. This is going to ask us to change the resolution again because this does not have the guest editions at this point. So for increasing our convenience, we will change the display resolution again. Let's go ahead and click the change display resolution button and go back to 1280 by 960. Let's boot up a terminal window now to install our guest editions. Just before we install, we have to update the system because we did an offline installation. We'll hit yes. I also like how the downloading process of all the packages looks like in the terminal. I think it looks quite neat. We should almost be done with downloading of all the packages. Now this is going to check for all the files. All right, let's type in our next command, which is sudo pacman minus s virtual blocks minus guest minus utils. This will install the guest additions. And this was a quick install. Next, we need to reboot our virtual machine. Let's log in again and let's do the desktop resize test. As you can see, it's still using the previous settings, but let me minimize, reduce the size, and maximize it. There we go. This is working as expected. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.